the loss of our life is not just deeply painful, but our constitution degrees that every life matters and should be protected at all costs. As a mother who knows the pain of losing a child, I empathize with all parents currently mourning. I plead with my president to order the security organ to stop killing our children. Let us hold to account all those police that shot and killed or injured our children who are peacefully demonstrating. These police that did that uh, such act and threat to our government. I want to thank uh, the CS Kidiki because I remember during the recent interview that he did uh, in the Citizen, he promised that those police that really did key shot the, those children when they were peacefully demonstrating, they will be held accountable. I also wish to convey my deep and sincere sympathies to all those who lost their properties due to the unfortunate organized hooliganism and uncalled for vandalism. As an industrialist, who knows the sacrifice and hardship of an, an entrepreneur, of entrepreneurship in this country? It is very sad to see police watching over these routers and thieves as they root and destroy these businesses instead of arresting them and charging them over their criminal acts. In some areas, we saw the police taking over two hours to respond. I want to plead with my government, and especially these hard, uh, hard economic uh, times that we are in. These business people, some of them may never be able to come back. I'm pleading with our government to ensure that they can come hand in hand and support them so that they can revive their businesses. I also want to thank and congratulate the GNC, Gen, Gen Z for the courage to speak out, to speak up. Which courage emanates from their sincere love of our nation. They have seen peace, they, they have uh, not just been peaceful, but they have operated within their constitutional rights. It is unfortunate their peaceful demonstrations have, have been hijacked by the criminals. Thank you to the JNZ for calling the demonstrations off after realizing that it has been hijacked by criminals. Then I want to thank His Excellency, our President, for agreeing to engage or to talk to this GNZ through the experts. And I plead with Mr. I mean, with our President to continue engaging with this GNZ because our children mean well. To our nation. I know our president, you have the capacity to resolve this crisis and we are behind you as you implement peaceful solution. To those organizing goons, hooliganism and anarchy, it is the most unfortunate development and I wish to condemn it 
in the strongest terms possible. The DCI must bring them all to book, immediately and without any further delay. It's unfortunate that when even our CS, Duale, was being interviewed, uh, there is this interview that he did in the TV, in Citizen TV. He acknowledged and said that those hooligan zims were organized by both sides of the government, the ruling party and the people who are not supporting the government. It's quite unfortunate. The DCI must bring them to book immediately and without any other further delay because they are known who they are and we need to stop this. That when our children were fighting for their rights, our, we ourselves, the politicians, can take, can go on and hire hooligans, hooligans to come and counter what uh, peaceful demonstrators were doing. So these are people that should be arrested so that they should not be they should not be had anywhere in this country because whatever went through, they should be held responsible. The G G Mr. Speaker, sir, Gen Z have brought out very clearly that lead we leaders have failed the people who elected us or who put us in those offices. If the devolved funds going to the counties was utilized and spent right free, every county by now should have a manufacturing plant where our youth would be applying their skills and talents in nation building. Our county governments, to start with, have failed us. And we must rethink our devolution while wiping out all corruption, both from national and county government, and all other systems of government. We must at all times uphold our nation values and principles as opposed to what GNZ have accused us of vomiting on their shoes. Mr. Speaker, sir, I want to talk to the chairman of the finance committee. You are there? That any time they are doing proposals on increment of taxes on commodities, would we be very careful not to, to increase or to propose commodities that will provoke the Kenyans. Because the finance bill was the best finance bill that we will ever see. But because of the proposals that were brought in, and before the GNCs could know that those of those proposals had been removed from the finance bill, already what they knew is what on the social media. So you could see the GNC going out there, talking of their bread, and the bread has already been in, removed from the finance bill. They were talking of their pads. Their pads have already been removed from the finance bill. So they should be very careful on whatever proposals they give, on the increment on taxes to ensure that we don't put things that can provoke Kenyans. When His Excellency was on, uh, I mean, was being interviewed, that routable interview with the media, he also talked of the communication. He was left down by the communication team. I think, you are, you are, Mr. Speaker, sir, I'm advising, or because I know in Kikui we say even the, the older ones can be advised. The only bad thing is if you can abuse somebody. 
just to ensure that he picks the right people in all the, 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 the his sectors. Is it communication? Is it when it comes to the, to the CSAs? He should now pick the right people, the people with the capacity, because they will continue letting him down and we will continue uh, people blaming our Kenya government, Kenya Kwanza government. Well, it is the team that has been put there that is failing us. In business, we give people the JD and we ensure we monitor the KPIs so that if they are not able to perform, they are sacked. And then in business, we don't employ families, friends, or even people that we go to church with. That's the warning that we've been given. I think in Kenya, the big, running a Kenya is the biggest business that you can run. So you don't need to employ your friends. You don't know them anything. You don't need to employ uh, uh, relatives or even people that you go to church with. You need to employ people that can uh, support you in your government. The time for friends, it was when you are doing your campaign. Now, it is time for doing the business and doing the work and doing the perform, to, to serve, giving the service to the Kenyans. So we don't want these friends that will keep on letting you down. The GNC has mentioned them. I don't want to mention them on the floor of uh, the house. And they, they don't want to keep on repeating their names so, so that they don't keep on being knocked as they are walking when we keep on mentioning their names. But they are known. It's everywhere now known. You uh, reshovel that uh, cabinet and ensure you put the right people uh, based on, uh, based on uh, their capacity. I know how loyal you are. I can congratulate you on that. You are so loyal. Uh, but sometimes loyalty can be a weakness. And it's a high time now you ensure that it's not about loyalty. It's on how people can perform and move this country to the next level. I've been to the uh, PG, and you can see some of the CSs are even asked questions, and they're not even able to respond. You are the same person, you as your excellency, comes out to respond on their behalf. So I think it's the right time we get the right people, and then we move. And so that this country can also uh, grow, uh, I think two years now is enough. The third year we should now see industries flourishing because there is no any other way we can grow this country. So that the GNCs can see that we are also working. We are creating the employment in this country of ours and we are creating our wealth and uh, we are growing our economy. And uh, the minute they see that, nobody will be interested now to go on the streets because people will be busy doing their work. Uh, and I know uh, people keep on t talking of uh, when they see leaders coming together, leaders coming together. When it's come now, we have only one president and it's a, a known, we have only one president. So meaning, if you have one president, we have all to work with that one president. So I saw people like yesterday in the meeting that we were in talking of uh, that Raira was in that meeting is just coming, invited by the one president, because we only have one president. So we need to bring this unity, uh, the dialogue, and accept that we have to work together, all of us, so that, so that tomorrow we are giving good examples to the GNCs and they can see we are all working together as a team. And we can give them hope that this country is moving to the next level. But not to keep on saying that uh, people, some people should stay on the, their, on the side and others on the side and watch the others do as they fail, you crap, instead of forgetting that the country, we have only one country. We don't have two countries. And uh, the way you saw that one week, what happened, it is that uh, we are being compared with, uh, with our neighboring countries that uh, we've seen them go down. We don't want Kenya how we've built, how we've come up, and how we've uh, worked hard to bring it to where it is, to be compared with other countries that we've seen them go down. I know we've been a good example to the East African uh, countries, to the African countries, to the world, that we are the hub of uh, investment, 
uh, people when they choose in Africa, we are among the best uh, countries that people choose. Uh, maybe we are number two from South Africa is us. So we should maintain that and work together as a team. And they forget about now the politics because I think 2027 is still far. And uh, when 2027 comes, is the time now people can go back and say who wants to become what and what. But for now, we support one president who is Dr. Somo, I mean Dr. William Ruto, so that he can perform. And the more if he performs, we all succeed. Our businesses succeed, our schools will succeed, the agriculture will flourish, and I think we'll all be happy. So we just need to keep on supporting each other so that we can uh, move forward. Now, now the GNC, because they've called off the demonstrations, uh, all of us, uh, I know GNCs are all young, remember that. These are our children, and I, I'm happy the way senators have come up to give for, for, to give a voice, I mean voice at the right time, a voice of reason at the right time, to ensure that we can also support them and because whatever they are doing, they are helping us on whatever we've been struggling to do at our counties. The oversight that has been named like you are the enemy of uh, the governors of uh, anybody else that is uh, thinking that you're oversighting them. And then also our members of parliament, I, do, I would also advise them to ensure that they listen to the ground and always advise the executive the way it should be. Because I think if we all listened to what the, 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 the GNCs or the public were saying, if we advise the executive, I think we could not be somewhere further when it comes to the finance, that finance bill. And, uh, and uh, so meaning we just need to move forward and to ensure that it's one minute you wind up your thoughts, uh, Senator. Uh, one minute, yeah.